guys welcome to my youtube channel yes designs by k renee now has a youtube channel as you guys know designs by k renee has been around a few years but i've been a fashion designer pretty much just fashion and clothes only well just recently i got into the sublimation and doing vinyl t-shirts and doing um, trays and coasters and paintings and so here I am trying to help you get better during your crafts and voila designs by K Renee on YouTube so now you can rewind go back and look over it until you get it right now the, the thing that I found out about a lot of the YouTube um, presentations is they show you how to do stuff but I felt like especially when it was something on a the computer they needed to show you and say it at the same time or else I'm keep going back because I couldn't see where the little cursor was and what they pushed on and all of that so hopefully I'm better at um, teaching you than some of those people because it really was frustrating how many hours I was spending on YouTube well, nevertheless, this is our very first YouTube presentation, and it's on the ever so popular trays. And here's one of my best selling ones um, that everyone wanted to see, but I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to utilize my time and do one from scratch because when I did the Zoom the other day, um, a lot of people said they wanted to go back and look at it. So I'm going to start from the very beginning of how to do the trays with the accessories and to do it on the computer. So stay tuned. Hopefully you have your items out so you can do it at the same time. You will need your tray, your blank tray. You will need your vinyl paper, which is here. You will also need probably your, um, this is your printable label, and this is just for the cigarette lighters. You'll also need your cigarette lighter, whatever ashtray you're going to use, your e resin and epoxy. Um, you will need some kind of cup or something to stir your stuff with. Um, you stirrers and your stash jar and let's get started okay so now it's time to um, paint your tray and like i told you guys that the one that i'm actually doing is red um, is oval but i'm doing the um square one for you guys so i normally take the colors out of my picture so um, with this one, um, maybe some blue or some red and some gold. So, and white. So, for the most part, I will get the picture out the way. And make sure you do the inside, too, because, because of the way these... Um, these tins are made like they have a um, coating to it. You want to make sure that your stuff sticks to it. And if that coating is on there, it might not um, always stick. So I'll always make sure I still do at least a coat of that. So this is phase one of the paint the tray. And then we'll come back and um, do the rest of it because I actually wanted to pull the colors out. Because here is the one that I wanted to do and I wanted to make it like this so as you see I went ahead and um, did some gold I did the gold first um, as my underlay and then I went through and sprayed in a couple places um, some of the blue because there's blue in there and a little bit of the red and some of the white um, I probably would have did most of this in gold, so that, I mean, in white. So that way, once I put this down, um, once I put this down, then white is the, the um, background, and then that way my edges 
will kind of fade into the white. That's really important to me. I don't, I like it to look like it's part of the tray. So in order to do that, I make sure this color, um, that the um, background of this is the same as the background of this. So this is a tray that I'm actually doing for somebody. So I'm gonna make sure that um, I paint this white um, so that I can put that on there. So like I said, this is phase one of this tray and then I'll come back and I will um, probably go ahead and put the white on the inside and then add the, but you have to wait till each one dries. You can't mix those up or it'll um, they'll run together. So I'll do one coat and then I'll come back and let that dry and then I'll come put a couple other colors and let that dry. So that's it really for the trays. I will come back and just show you um, a couple times here and there. Okay, so I am back. Um, real quick to show you how to spot, paint these, and like I said, maybe some red and some blue. Red and some blue, and a little bit of white maybe. Red, some blue, and some white. So, kind of just go a little bit here and there. There's red. Nothing big. Just add a little bit more color. And I'm not going to do the um, white until like right before I'm about to do it because, because the um, white is a more of a lacquer and it Okay, one thing I forgot to tell you guys was make sure you're in a well ventilated area when you're doing um, anything having to do with the um, resin or the spray paint, um, real toxic. So here is um, the square one that I told you about. And the only thing left to do is, as you see, maybe add a little bit of the uh, white. Like I told you guys before, um, sometimes I change it up. I just felt like um, it would blend in more if I had the um, white as the um, white as the color, as the um, bottom color. And you know, the rest of it is going to be covered. So we're going to uh, give that a little bit of um, time to dry and then we will finish. Okay, so like I said, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I have, I've used some, some different paints, spray paints, because I found that it saves me a lot of trouble. Now I found both of these one is epoxy enamel and one is a lacquer. For sure, this black epoxy enamel has a shine to it already. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second um, by that. This other one, cut this light down some. This other one is a lacquer. And this is the one I'm going to use. Um, for my tray so I normally hold my trays like this because then that way I can get a nice little coating and like I said I'm just doing the inside and really all I'm worried about is the um, borders I'm sorry is what's gonna be the where I put the 
actual graphic or a sticker on there. And like I said, this wasn't the one that I was going to do, so don't worry about that. It's going to all blend and it's going to be shiny. So a lot of times people are like, oh, I messed it up. No, you didn't mess it up because once you throw that epoxy on, it's going to shine up and everything going to blend in. It's not going not gonna to be able to see most of your mistakes. So like I said, this is a Krylon lacquer. I get these from um, a local store called um, Ace Hardware. So this is the lacquer. I'll put these in the description. And this is white and this is the epoxy enamel and this is black. Now, I don't know... If they had epoxy enamel in white, I would have got it. So I don't think so. One is lacquer and one is epoxy. Um, but you'll see when I get done how shiny um, those leave these before you even get to the, the resin. So I'll show you guys just real quick this epoxy enamel. Like this is the bomb. It will save you, especially for some people, they said they hate resin and all of that. Now look at that. In the same way it is right now, this is how it's gonna look when you get done. So you really wouldn't even have to do the edges on this one because it already has the adhesive or the gloss um, in it. And it's gonna look just like that. Okay. Okay, so once you're done spray painting your um, tray, now it's time to go and prepare our stickers while that dry. Normally, the paint takes about uh, 30 minutes to an hour to dry. It's pretty quick. Okay, so go ahead and open your Microsoft Word document. And once you get that document open, go ahead and go to your file and save as. I'm just gonna make sure that you save it and go to your drop down, and we're going to choose 97 to 2003 because that is my favorite and those are the ones that I'm most used to doing. And I'm going to name it this tray, um, tray tutorial. Okay. Go ahead and save that and i already did it ahead of this video so we are ready so once you get to here you're going to insert and insert a shape shape is going to be square for this tutorial but just know that um, my tray that i'm doing is going to be round and not square so you click on insert the square. So now you should have this um, little um, cross and that's where we're going to start to draw our, um, our shape, which is there. And I did forget to tell you. Now, if you are adding your picture and you're doing a trade long ways, then you'll need to change your orientation. If your picture is going to be placed on um, your tray this way, you can leave it how it is on portrait. But for mine, it's going to be um, for this tutorial purpose, we're going to go ahead and leave it as a square. Um, so I drew it and then I released so over here to on the right hand side. You're going to see um, Where you choose the size The size of your um, Box that's going to go in your tray. So the measurements here is nine uh -uh. 9.3 and it's 5.9 as your um, width and actually I don't see where that changed the oh so it's the other way around 5.9 Okay, there we go. 
So just make sure whichever way you do it that it makes sense. If this is the way you want your picture placed, make sure this is the way it's going to be. Okay, so now we have your um, box that your picture or sticker is going to go on. And this is only if you want to do the full, um, the full insert of the tray. So now I can go to insert a shape and No, I'm sorry. We're going to go to insert a picture. And for these purposes, the tray that I'm using, I already have my picture under trays. And here's my picture, which is here. Okay, so once you do that, your picture is not going to pop up because your picture is actually um, going to be behind your box. So what you do now is you go right here to the top. And it says wrap text and you'll see this little horseshoe little thing you click on wrap the text click on wrap the text and what you want to do is put it in front of so sometimes I forget which one is which so I just keep going until I get it where I want it to be and most of the time it's going to be in front of so I click in front of and boom there is um, your picture but as you see it's going to be too big, so I'm going to just use my arrows to make it a little smaller so it can fit in my box. Okay, you just kind of play around with this till you get it where you want it. And since I want it to take up most of the room of my tray, I'm going to keep going until I fill it up. Okay, now with this, sometimes you might not want to fill up your complete tray. Let's say I just want to have it um, partially um, filled up. So now that leaves you with, once you go back to your actual box, it leaves you with this empty space. Now you can't really tell because the outline of this is white and the, tr and the tray is white. So I go back to click on my box, and if you look to the top, it says shape format. And I can make it whatever color I want. I can make it black, and I try to blend in my box to whatever color my tray is. So if my background was black, I would go ahead and make this part black too. Um, if you go to shape fill, which is here, and you can choose on whatever color you want. You can choose red, yellow, whatever the case may be. If you um, aren't for sure what color, you can click on more fill colors, which is here. And you can kind of find a color until you get it. Now, sometimes I'll go to custom and I'll keep going. Let's say I wanted to match this blue right here. So I would put it on the blue and I would keep going until I got close to that blue. And as you see, it's pretty good color. Okay, everybody get that? So it's just up to you. But for um, this one, I'm not going to have any kind of fill um, because I want it to stay white. So I'll go back to shape fill and I push no fill. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back and enlarge my um, graphic so it can pretty much fit in the entire box. I might have made it a little bit too big. Okay, and boom. So here is, oh, sorry. If I leave it like that, you're gonna be able to see this little um, partial box and we don't want that. Okay. So there you are, and you can toggle back and forth. Right now, it's surrounding the picture. So how do I know that? Because you see, um, you see picture format. If I wanna go back and do something with the box, I click on the box and you can now see, um, I'm sorry, go on the box and now it says shape format. Okay, so that's something that you can just play with. So right now I'm ready to print. This um, has my, my picture 
in here, I'll go ahead and choose print. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to another document, which is find a new document, a blank document. So now it's time to make um, whatever you're doing. Now I did start adding cigarette, um, I'm sorry, um, different matches and stuff like that because if they're anything like me, I lose lighters all the time. So I kind of add little things in there just to help. And if you don't know what the measurements are. You guys don't have to keep asking people, what's the measurements, what's the measurements? You know why? Because when you get something different or you can't find that ashtray, you can't find that lighter, you're gonna to have to know how to put your own measurements in. So all you have to do with this is just take your tape measure or your ruler and measure these yourself. So I can make a box. It would be roughly two by I would say not one and a half, a little bit less than one and a half, and sometimes I play with it. So I would say one point, instead of 1.5, I would say 1.4 or 1.375. Same thing. Okay, so I would go ahead and insert my um, shape, mm -hmm, square. Right now I'm doing my matches. Just make the box. Then go to shape format and what did I say that was? I say it's two by 1.375. So two by 1.375. Or maybe it's the other way around. One point three seven five by two. Okay. So so they ended up estimating as one point three eight and two. Okay, so go back to my insert and insert my picture. Back to my picture, insert it. Once again, it's gonna be big or it's actually gonna be behind. Just keep going until you put it in front. Choose in front of text, still too big. And kind of just keep messing with it until it gets to be the size of my shape. A little bit smaller. And once again, like I told you, if you want a different um, shape fill, you can. But for this um, activity, I don't want it. So I click on my box, go to shape format, go to no fill, because I do not want a fill with this one. Okay, so that's done. To make it easier so I don't have to keep inserting that, I'm going to go ahead and copy that shape. So now it's time to insert a box for um, my lighter. Measurements of a lighter is 2.75. No, it's 2.7 and 2.5. 2.7, 2.5. 2.5 is the height. Nope. 2.5 is the height. 2.7 is the width. That's so it can. Um, this is 2.5 starting from here and um, the 2.7 all the way to, I usually leave some space for it to overlap goes all the way to there. So once again, go ahead and right click, paste, because we already have that on there. This time I don't have to um, do that. And because I just want my picture just to be right here. I don't want it to wrap around. I'm going to make it kind of skinny and put it right in the middle of my um, thing. So it be right here. Sometimes I don't like it distorted too much. So we'll just leave it kind of like right there. Now, if you want to, like I said, if you want to add more color, you can leave that fill or not. 
and because I always fill it this time I'm not um, it actually wastes a lot of ink when you fill stuff so just um, make sure you're aware of that so go to shape format shape fill and I don't want any fill no fill once again so now I have my matchbook I have my cigarette lighter and I am going to choose um, my ashtray and my lids for my can are actually the same size. So I will need two circles. So now I'll insert my shape and I insert a circle. Um, the measurements for that circle is 2.7. Go ahead and copy that. No, oh, I can't yet. Bring this down a little bit. Right click so I can copy that circle and paste. Right click and paste. Hold on, it didn't paste. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Right click. In the sh Okay. And for all purposes, we're going to move along. I'm just going to stop being lazy and make another circle. And make that as 2.7. So both those are... Hold on, these don't look like the same size. That's 2.7. Oh, I don't know what happened with that. They should both be the same size, 2.7. Sometimes the ratio, um, it doesn't like the ratio, so it'll do something. So just make sure your stuff is, is what you want it to be. And just so I don't waste paper, I try to fit as much as possible on here because um, then when I get done and do it the second time, I can just put um, one on, I can turn my paper the other way and print because this vinyl paper is not cheap, you guys. So just remember that. And I can kind of fit this just about right there. And move this one over a little bit. Boom, now I can move this one over a little bit. Want to save as much material as possible. So you wanna to try to fit all you can. Okay, so copy, right click, copy my picture. So I don't have to go back and do it again. Paste it there, go here, right click, paste it here. I can leave it right there. I can make it a little bit smaller. Whoops. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make sure it goes in front. So, same thing for this one. Make sure whenever that horseshoe thing pops up, make sure you have it on the right thing or else it's gonna have a mind of its own and kind of puts it where you, where they want it to go or where they think it should go. Ugh. Okay. So once again, I don't want a feel. I'm gonna click on the shape, shape format, shape feel no feel and then uh, um the more i look at that i'm like i don't know if i wanted to not have any feel hmm i don't know you guys so i guess i will figure that out momentarily
Let me go ahead and try. But I won't do this while I'm on camera because I'm trying to keep this down to a certain amount of time for this first video. So all I can all do is go back and click on the shape once again, go to shape format, and I probably would try either the red or the blue that I thought was quite close to it. And one thing about it, um, it remembers what you already used. So as you go to shape fill, if you see that right here, you see it was already filled with that color. So it makes it easier when you go back, go back up to shape format, shape fill, choose that color again. Boom, and then the very last one, right click, shape format, um, shape fill choose that blue again okay so i'm going ahead and print these out because we have the ashtray we have the stash jar the only thing um left is if you want to put a sticker on here and just for our purposes i'll go ahead and add one more shape for that for you guys uh, another square and if you're using the ones that I do, geez, if you're using the ones that I use, um, I would probably say uh, two inches across and maybe one inch down. So I'll put this on two by one. Um, go ahead and copy this shape go back over here right click paste the shape um, don't worry that it popped up over there because it just puts it where it wants to and all you got to do is make sure you right click on it and then you can move it to the right place okay so here we go and you can go back to shape format, choose that same blue. And voila. Now, it's other things that you can put on yours if you want to. If you want to put some words, you can put the words right on here. You can go to insert and go over to the right and click on insert um, word art. You guys know we used to play with a word art when we were young. Word art, let's say trays. Erase that and go to trays. You have to tell it where you want it to go. You want it to be in front. And once you click on that, now you can move it. Oops. Make sure it should say word art when it's ready to move your word art. So I will put trays right on there like so. And um, voila. So you can do that with text box. You can do whatever you want. You can make your shapes different. You can go and when it's time for you to go ahead and delete that. You can make your um, things that go on your stuff different shapes if you want to make it a call out um or a diamond or whatever the case may be just make it whatever you want it to be you can make it a star if you want to and then put stars on your stuff so it's plenty of stuff you can do I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on microsoft word because you guys know we all use this in school and um it's not that hard the only thing i was showing you is how to make your stickers in the correct shape and format so now i'm going to print these out and um, the final thing would be to put each of these on your um, things. Okay. Okay. So, tray is dry for the most part. And so, we're going to go ahead and um, get started on um, putting the stuff together. One thing about this, because I accidentally cut the border off, now it's fading into 
<laughs> my picture, so I can't really see. I've never done white on white, so. Lesson learned. Let me just go ahead and um, you can kind of see where the blue stopped, so you know that that's where um, the end of that line was. So as you see, it's going to fit right in there. And what I do is I go ahead, let me turn it this way so you guys can see. Um, what I do is I go ahead and um, round my, my corners just because the corners on there are round. So I kind of just do a little flick of the wrist like that. And then I do a little flick of the wrist here. Uh -uh. Like so. And I flip it over because I can only cut to the left. Cut that one off and, but you really don't have to do this so don't, Get your panties in a bunch if um, you're not doing that part there. So, now, as you guys know, because I know everybody's saying, what's the paper, what's the paper? Um, I'm going to put that in the description, but this is the paper that I use. Um, if you guys are members of my group, which should be, there is a list, my Amazon list for trays, and everything that I use for my trays, except for the couple things I get from the dollar store, is there. So this is the vinyl matte paper, and um, it's very forgiving, and it kind of has like a stretch to it. Um, this one is about $14, and it comes with, I think, 10 or 12 sheets. So like I said, it's not cheap. So I try to make the most out of um, what I'm doing. So, okay, so with this, because this is the hardest part, actually, you kind of got to make sure you don't want to put it down until you kind of get it where you want. So I kind of try to find my middle. And once I find my middle I make sure because once you put that down it's gonna be really hard to get up like so prime example okay so but I will tell you like I say all the time it's not that big a deal it's not gonna be that big a deal people it's not that big a deal because it is going to blend and what I do is I have a um I use my weeding tool to kind of pick up the edges. Now we'll say once you put it all the way down gonna have a problem and I wouldn't lift this up I'm only lifting it up because of these bubbles right here guess what Sometimes I wouldn't worry about it. If it wasn't for it's a tutorial, I wouldn't even waste my time. But I just want to show you guys what you have to do to correct certain stuff. Because I would have just flattened those on out. And the bubbles come from, um, because it is a vinyl paper. So in actuality, once you find your middle, you should go through and 
continue to press like so. That's going to lay it all down and make sure you have a minimum amount of bubbles. See? See? I'm just because I'm doing a YouTube don't mean I had it perfect. Oh, that's not perfect. And if this was for a client, I would go ahead and um do it over because clearly something's on my fingers, maybe some paint. And um, even though what I want to tell you guys is a lot of times you won't even notice. Look, that's what it is. I must have wiped my face and there's some makeup on it. But a lot of times you won't even notice um, because you're going to put um, the resin and stuff over top of it. Okay, so don't worry about that. Just make it do. If you make a small mistake, um, you can always take and put some glitter some places. Or I know if it's black, I always just take my black marker and correct it or whatever. But that's not the case with this one. But um, when I get done, you won't even notice this is on here. Um, because it is a vinyl paper, I probably can get some alcohol or something and uh, put on there. Maybe even some um, spray paint. Yeah, I'm sure it would have came out if I got some alcohol. But like I said, I'm not going to fool with it because if that's the case, I would just probably just take spray paint or some chalk or whatever put on it because like I said, the epoxy is going to go over top of it and it's going to cover that up. Okay, moving right along. So the tray is done and it's ready for um, resin. Now it's time for your other things. Okay, so this is for your um, stash jar and your um, ashtray. What else? So you just go ahead and cut these out. And I have a paper cutter. I usually don't do all this. I'm just doing this because this is the YouTube tutorial. And I'll be trying to teach y'all right. <laughs> but I'm somebody who has very little time. I'm trying to teach you guys stuff. Supply you for the supplies. And also create stuff because people want me to create. Okay, so now on to um, your lighter and your ashtray. And um, as you know, we have printed these out a while ago. And let's go ahead and start with the um, cigarette lighter because I feel like that's the easiest to do. Here's my cigarette lighter. Go on and take this square off of here. And as you see, it's going to fit almost perfectly. And I, I don't try to um, like cover like it up exactly because I try to get ones that match. So that's as you see, putting this on, it might be a little crooked at the top. So let me try that again. Go. Go in and press that down. So both of these are done. So normally what I do is sometimes I'll cut it off so it won't overlap lap as much. But it really doesn't matter because this is just the layer beforehand. So here you are with your lighter and um that's with the vinyl paper. And then I use, I'm not about to be res, um, put an epoxy on everything. So this is the um, transparency, um, I'm sorry, laminating paper. The um, sticky, stick, not the no machine one. And I buy this on the roll. It, it will be in the description. And it's also on my list of stuff, my Amazon list. Um, Amazon has the best prices for everybody. I don't even know how other places survive because Amazon just buys out everything. Anywho. So, 
So, dang, I didn't even measure this. Normally just do um, three squares by three squares and then I kind of take a little bit off when I get done. Cause you see these, this has the, um, the squares on it. So I usually do three by three. And then I would have left the tape on there until I got this taken care of, but I already pulled the back of it off. Jeez, Kimberly. So for all purposes, what you would do is to make sure it fits. Matter of fact, let me go on and show you guys the right way. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'll show y'all how to fix stuff that we mess up also. So what I was saying is, I do three by three. And it's really like two and a half by two and a half, but put it on there like so. Jeez, Kimberly, you did it again. Let me see. Nope, I want it to be exact so I can show you guys the right way. Cause like I said, this is way easier than putting resin on it. So it's just a little bit I need to cut off. So you can look at it like this. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna do it like this and you're gonna do it like that. And you don't need the extra like I said, I'm going to take that off. It's still a little bit extra. So I'm going to take a little bit more off. And straighten this up here. Okay. So now it's going to fit just like so. Voila. But you'll get the hang of it as you um, do a few of these. You'll know exactly where to cut it and all that good stuff. Okay, so this, be careful because this is like the other one. Once you put it down, you don't get to take it off. You better make do. So, put that just like so. I'm going to wrap that around and voila, just as shiny. Now, sometimes I'll have a little bit hanging over right here. Let me show you a little trick. This is what I'll do. I know you ain't supposed to light the lighter, but I just take this thing and do just like this right around the edges. Tap, 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 tap. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, back to what I was saying. I just go ahead and take this around the edges like so. And it's just going to go ahead and shrink. It's going to go ahead and shrink to fit right around there. Don't be cutting nothing on fire. Tell people I told you to do it. No, I didn't. I said just rub it around there. Okay, lighter is done. Nice and shiny. No need for um, no resin or anything like that. Now, the only thing is sometimes if you overlap them and it's not perfect, but like I said, nobody's looking at that but us. So this is fine. And I'm going to do my um, matches, which is right here. My little matchbook, just because. See, this is why I use my paper cutter, because these big old scissors be doing their own little thing. Boom. 
And just know that anything that you want to have that final little coating, just um, you can always take the same shape that you that you had, and you can take a piece of this and put it right on top of this and put it on there. But you know how I feel about that. These people gonna lose these matches and this lighter. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. They are gonna lose the lighter. They are gonna lose the lighter and the matches way before they're empty. <laughs> so if I do it like that, then I can um, go ahead and put this on top of here. I'm sorry, let me scoot up some. Keep ending up off of the camera. Go on and put this on there like boom. Yeah. Here we go again. No do overs. Ugh. Look like I cut it too small. to adapt our measurements a little bit to uh, add like one point to it. I think I had it as, I don't know, I have to look at what I had the measurements of of this little matchbook. So put that down, boom. That's something very simple. You know what I'm saying? Just something little cutesy little thing. Okay, so now it's time for um, my ashtray. Once again, like I said about things that are white um, or black as far as the substrate, which meaning, I mean, this... Um, this ashtray. I would prefer, and you'll see the difference to have um, it with a white background, so you won't be able to tell. If anything happens, any mistake, you won't be able to tell because it's um, it blends in, and once you put the resin on top of it, you know it's not really it's not really a big deal. So. That's just a tip for you guys. Then you just go ahead and put her on in there. Try to find your center for that. Boom, that was easy. And sometimes I take and put some of this um, transparency paper, but um, I usually just go ahead and drip some resin in there, seal that. That way it's um, fireproof. So that part is done. Now we have to do the stash jar. And before I finish this, I will show you guys how to um, paint the lids. But for this lid, I'm not going to paint it. To me, it's just really, really messy. And sometimes I think they look better and cleaner um, having the clear container, really. So. So we're cutting out our lid sticker. like so and you see that's going to fit perfectly on here and what I like to do with this is once again put 
this in here. And you can do them both at the same time, but I just don't like to because I need to make sure that um, my sticker is the right size and cut right first. Then I go back and do the, the laminating paper. Sometimes I do do resin too on the top, but the thing about resin is it's so unpredictable and eventually it is going to drip over. And um, so that means you're gonna have that mess at some point. So I don't feel like being bothered with it and I don't wanna have you guys be bothered with it. So. See how I did that and I rolled it. Yeah, so it's kind of start in the middle and then you push it out. And the good thing about it, this has a dip in it. So that gives you extra room for, you know, little mistakes here and there. Um, so to keep from having to um, resin this, it's kind of hard for me to see around my phone because I'm taping. And I put this on there like so and kind of the same thing that i do with my cigarette lighter i just clean up a little still boom 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 Boom, boom. I'll just kind of go around there to make sure. This is a little bit off, but like I said, it's kind of hard for me to see around my phone if it's in my face. So, you know, you'll just make sure yours is over. Like I said, I'd rather be too big than be too little because whatever space, whatever I have left over, I just kind of go through and do this. Yeah. Okay, so lid is done. Like I said, I don't always put something on the side, but since I didn't paint it, um, I think I just would like a little bit of color, more color added to it. And that's what everybody liked the um, Chanel one because it was full of colors like you guys gotta put that color on these bad boys and uh, boom that's done so so far we have well so far we have our stash jar we have our Cigarettes, I mean, um, matchbox, and we have this, and we have our lighter. So now it's the fun part. And one thing I will tell you, if you do not have this next thing, you better get one. Because this is the key to successful working with resin. The key to that is... Boom, a scale. Gotta have a scale. Now, um, it says that you're supposed to have half and half of each one. So the only way you can guarantee, even if you use those little cups, I used to use those cups and the steel wasn't foolproof. The only way I can guarantee that it's gonna be equal and equal is if I use measuring. So put this on my measuring, I mean on my um, scale. It says 0.3. So whatever I come up with, um, it's gonna be 0.3. Now, what I will tell you is another key to my um, trays is secret ingredient coming to you guys really, really soon. Look at that. My stuff is not thick. 
I've been trying and I think I finally found the right combination and soon my epoxy resin will be available to you. But anyway, can't tell you about that. That's, uh, I had to kill you if I tell you about that. So we're going to go ahead, make sure, point three. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and usually 15 ounces is enough for one tray. So since it was already three and I know I need 15, that means I have to go to what class? 18, exactly, 17, ugh, 18. Okay, so that means it's 15 in there of the one and then it's gonna be 15 of the second one. So in order for it to be 15, I add 15 to the 18, that means 33. So I'm gonna keep doing the other one till I get to 33. Yeah, you guys, I can't wait to package up and bottle this resin. The resin that they give us have been went up so high. I'm so tired of buying it and searching for it and all of that. But anywho, yeah, so now that I have um, half and half, equal amounts, um, one thing I will tell you, make sure you have some silicone mats. Those are on my in my Amazon list too. Um, the silicone mats will protect. I have messed up kitchen counters and everything else. I had to go through all of this to get this stuff off of my counter. Um, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I was watching another YouTuber um, today, and she was talking about how she got like really, really sick, like about to die sick because she was at some thing learning how to do resin, and they were all in a room at a hotel for two whole days and sniffing that stuff, and they got really, really sick. I'll have to read more about it. Well, anywho, so you're going to um, mix, and as you see, as you're mixing it, it um, gets thickened and dark, and then it gets really, really clear. Now, look how fast mine got clear. Y'all, I'm about to tell y'all this stuff like crack. This stuff is the bomb. My resin is the bomb. Look how clear that is. Y'all see how clear that is? Time I stir two minutes. Man, my arm be so tired stirring at two minutes. Well, here you go. And um, see you guys? Look at that. Look how clear that is. Yep, it's coming to you guys soon, but not until I'm ready. So going to go ahead and I tell people all the time the easiest way to do it is go ahead and just put some in and um, not even worry about this is how you get fewer bubbles the more you have um, strokes and stuff it's the air that is going to give you your bubbles. So the less I mess with it, the less, um, least amount of bubbles gonna have. See? It's good. This one is already done. Okay, don't have to cover this because like I said, I used um, the um, laminating paper instead. That's done. Laminating paper on here, that's done. And laminating paper here. Resin is not cheap. You don't want to have to use um, a bunch of resin if you don't have to. Same thing for ugh, for this. Um, go ahead and put this down here like so. Make sure you keep your um, container on the mat. And just kind of go around your edges with your finger. I can, can't really get to it because of my nails. Um, but normally I just go ahead and go around it and make sure my paper is good and sticky down there. But this is all I do. Because um, once again, like I said, the less you mess with it, besides the fact that I have good resin, um, the less you mess with it, the... Um, 
least amount of bubbles you're going to have. See that? No bubbles. I got a piece of hair in my stuff some kind of way. I don't know where that came from. Ugh. Okay. So, I just... Look at that. How pretty that is already. Colors just um, kind of blend in. Uh, I got another piece of something. Looks like glitter. Probably came off of here. Oh no, it came off the paint, looks like. Uh. Okay, so that is that part. And so now all I have to do is do the edges. Um, didn't tell you guys, but oh yes, I did. I told you about make sure you're in a well ventilated area, and then also make sure you have gloves. I keep forgetting to order me some more gloves. Um, so every time I need them, I just get them from the hair store. But I definitely need to um, order some more gloves because sometimes people have allergic reactions to uh, the resin. But it's just a real toxic thing because, like I tell people, people just think of it as a shellac or a shine, but it actually is not. Resin is actually an adhesive. And so when you think of glue and things that, just think of how powerful it is if it does all the stuff that we need it to. So you know that's not something that you really want to get on your skin. So if you see how I'm doing it, I always hold it like this and that way I can kind of turn it around how I want to and excuse me if the video you can't see every everything because I thought this truck this thing I had was going to have it higher to where you see more of my space but it's not so I have to go order another one but you know this is not my first or well it is my it's not my first or my last, so I'm going to um, be showing you guys some other tricks and tips to go with not only the trays, but doing other things in resin. Um, one thing that I've been working on is how to um, save flowers in a resin, something with resin, um, because it's something I would like to do when people pass away. You know how we always keep those flowers. I would love to put those flowers in something that we can keep um, as a keepsake. So that's uh, my next project to work on with my good, good resin. Okay, so as you see, it's done. No bubbles. Look at that. It's not even dry. So y'all be using that cheap resin that they charge us an arm and a leg for. Well, guess what? We're not going to have that problem once I get this packaged up and ready for you. And whatever I have left, I always put it back. And just so I don't waste it, um, I have different molds and stuff that you guys can get. It's going to be on my website. This is like a coaster mold. Um... I do the letters that you can make. Like I have different molds. So I keep those. So whenever I have leftover resin, it's not wasted. You know, it's only gonna last about, well, mine's last a little bit longer, but for the most part, it only lasts about an hour before it starts to cure. And that means your working time is over going to start thickening up um, but like I said uh, I usually leave mines outside to, well in my garage to dry but some days I leave my garage open and then it's always a bug in my stuff because um, they like the sticky stuff and they themselves land on it 
but people i think that is pretty much a wrap this tray here is done and i use these dollar store cups for just about everything put that under here sit this here oh ah oh my gosh i can't believe i just spilled my resin oh my goodness and guess what y'all know what i'm about to do y'all know i'm about to clean it up i'm about to use it so i see where it's a couple spots on the sides i didn't get so i'm just going to go back usually it drips from the top and goes to the side but i guess that didn't happen can't believe i just spilled that i set that down too fast um keep some wipes near you so you can wipe your hands. I always keep um, this extra rag. Um, something just came off the rag. Oh, but look at that.